Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. This here's Porty's Garage. And we've got something special for you guys today. Sitting behind me is a surprise. Porty went out and got me a crash damaged car on Copart. So we're gonna take the time to go through and fix this car up on Porty's Garage. We'll make a nice series out of it and we'll keep you guys informed as we go through it. So on this episode, I'm gonna go through the bid process I had. I'm gonna go through the delivery and then we're gonna do a walk around the car. I did a little wash on it and then uh, a first start. And that will be the first video and then we'll keep them coming to you guys. So let's get to the video. Okay, here I am. Just got back from a meeting right before another meeting starts. I've literally got less than a minute. They're bidding on me. And here's a few more bids. Getting intense. And then here it just kind of hangs and I'm like, well, what the heck is going on? And then, holy shit, I won. I got f***ing won. Porty's Garage, new delivery. Some more content coming your way. Charlie is not liking it being delivered here. Let's take a little walk around. Obviously has been crashed. A little uh, a little front end damage here. The undercarriage is what I'm most worried about. It looks like, I'm gonna guess, the uh, previous owner went curb hopping uh, in a major way. So we'll have to see how bad the damage is under under there. Probably my biggest concern is right here on this rocker panel. You can see, gonna need some good suspension parts there. A little bit of issue with the hood here. Hopefully we can fix that. Definitely new fender. Probably gonna need a new door as well. Um, yeah, with this here, that's gonna be it. Got a bunch of goodies inside as well. Uh, looks like the mirror. Hopefully that's not too bad. Um, yes, it is bad. We're going to need a new mirror. Um, some scratches here on the back. Looks like the rim is okay. A um, little bit of scuff here too. Rest of the back looks good. Looks like a uh, reverse camera was installed at one point. So that's interesting. We'll have to see what that's all about. This back corner looks good, minus the, uh, the grass there in the rim. Must have did some off-roading when they hit that curb. This side here looks really good. I'm thinking right now this fender looks good. Um, I think that's just a little dirt there. Um, this rim looks good. Something is not right with the suspension though. You can see that it's sitting way too low. So we'll have to figure that out. Look like we might be able to save uh, the side marker light. That's good. Looks like the fan and everything. Coolant is good there. Headlight looks good except for this little missing part here. Uh, front crash bar is a little moused up. I'm not sure if that's going to need to be replaced or not but uh, again more worried about underneath you can see the front 
tub for the spare tires a little bit moused up. Maybe we can fix that. Hopefully we don't have to replace it, but we'll see. The brunt of the damage is right here. I'm gonna need new, new rim, suspension, light, fender, the whole, uh, I guess, coolant system there. Now you can see here, this front corner is a little bit more dinged up too. Um, obviously the front bumper fascia, looks like we got a, a little bent up on the uh, hood here again. Hopefully this and that one, we can, we can bend those back and save this hood. But that's it. Um, let's take a quick look at the inside. Try not to do any more damage there. Just dirty as heck. Looks like an aftermarket radio. It is manual. Does look like it has a car alarm aftermarket in it. Some aftermarket audio stuff. But right now, looks pretty solid interior. Just dirty, as you would expect sitting in a Copart auction lot. All right. So that's it, team. Let's uh, let's clean her up and see what we can do here. One thing I wanted to try to do here was get a first start on this. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, strike everything here. All right. Probably gotta sit it. Get the clutch down, brake on. All right, here we go. Ready, set. There we go. We are running. Good RPM. Wow, almost got a full tank of gas. Make sure it's not in gear here. Um, I do not want to run it long because I do have uh, no coolant as the uh, radiators are shot on the driver's side. All right, let's shut her off. Beautiful. We have a starting car. As you can see, <laughs> the coolant is coming out of the no radiator. So no more running it till we get that fixed. All right, one last thing I want to do for this video. I'm actually going to give it a little wash here. So I'm going to clean up all this crap. We'll give it a wash. Um, and then uh, next video, we'll be uh, trying to get that fender off, maybe even the door and trying to get it so it's mobile and I can push it into the garage. We're looking at a bunch of rain this weekend, so I wanna to try to get it in here um, as I'll probably have the door off. All right, let's get to it.
that's going to do it for this episode of Project Boxster. Please make sure you like, subscribe, put on those post notifications, and we'll see you guys on the next one.